Welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. I'm here with the 2014 lineup from PSC. I have the PSC rep Francis in here with me. Um, this is the new speedboat, guys. I'm telling you. New full less, throttle. The full throttle. If, if I, I haven't seen another bow yet come out with this kind of speed uh, yet on the market, I don't think there's going to be one probably this year. This is above and beyond the normal. I mean, we didn't jump past the speed by 10. We jumped by, by about 20 feet a second from about well, anybody we, we, else. A little bit more, a little bit. We hit the, No one caught us with our omen, but we just felt that it was time to press the envelope a little bit farther. 370 feet a second, guys. IBO 370. And believe it or not, it doesn't pull like a bear. It shoots unbelievably smooth. It's quiet uh, for what it is. It does have the new flex slide, um, cable slide system to it. Like I said, guys, a lot of people look at these and they think of this as being a piece of plastic and they think, well, how long is that going to last? But it's not. It's actually from Gordon Glass. It's made out of the same exact material as what their limbs are made out of. Um, Oh yeah, they've been cycle tested 100,000 cycles without an issue, Toby. The, the bow itself has the new full throttle cam on it, which is draw specific, and it'll go from 26. Uh, 26 all the way up to 30, and you can order it in half inch increments. But to change the draw length, you do have to change the cam, so it comes in, only comes draw specific. The, the bow itself, like I said, 33 and a quarter inches axle to axle, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and what pounds like I get this in? It, you can get it in uh, 50, 60, 65, and 70. So it's uh, so they are making that 65, which is kind of a neat concept, guys. Um, I'm going to draw this a couple times here for you. This bow draws awesome, it really does. It's got a real super solid back end wall. It doesn't load heavy. Toby, why don't you turn and put the arrow in and show them how that flex slide works? See if we can see. And when you look at this vein, I don't know how well you can see this on here, but this vein from right here, you've got, oh, probably a good solid quarter inch between the outside of the vein. And you can adjust that, Toby. That, that clearance is adjustable by turning. This is just like a limb bolt. You crank this in, it'll move that bar out, and you take it out, it'll move it in. So you can adjust the clearance you have away. If you're shooting 3D and you're shooting tiny profile arrows, you can move, move that in farther. So it is adjustable. It's pretty cool. So I don't know if you can watch down the side of this, but when I look down the side of that guy now, guys, I can't. It's only about a half inch total from touching the arrow. What you're doing is looking at the distance from here to here, and if you look, the strings and cable, you've taken 30% of the lateral pull off that by that flexing in, and now the strings and cables are straight up and down. And unlike some of the other companies that are out there that have these kind of a flex style system slides, what happens on most of them is your flex slide comes in and it removes about 60% of your sight window on your on your sight housing. And whenever I draw this, guys, the cables still just barely come on the inside of the riser, but they don't come in far enough where it's not going to affect your sight window. Um, like I said, really, really neat. Well, another beautiful thing about it is, is that this actually slides. You know, a lot of the roller guard systems, when that's locked in place, when you're pulling that, that's what's preloading the limbs. The limbs on these bows are already preloaded by the way they're strung, and when you draw it, it's fluently moving back and forward. It, it's not putting a, a bind in there, and that's another reason why the bow pulls so softly. Another thing is, I know, Toby, if you draw this again, we've talked about, and if you draw it this way, we've talked about X technology, and a lot of people don't understand what that means, but if you watch the axles right here, when he lets up slowly, you'll see how this bow will go up an inch, and those axles will go in. Okay, and you can draw it and show it again on the pull. And you're watching this come down. And actually on the shot, what happens is, is that those limbs are going up and back and they cancel each other out and the bow lays dead in your hand, even at 370 feet per second. Guys, I'm telling you, very impressive, very smooth, easy to shoot bow. Uh, and uh, 370 feet a second, so far, like I said, it's the fastest bow I've shot. And this bow is gonna retail for right around 1100 bucks. So you can give us a call here at DravesArcher.com. We appreciate your business.